Hello YouTube, it's Mitz. I'm here to do a video on my setup, current setup of my Midori Traveler's notebook. It is now summer of 2014, well it's June 2014, and I have changed up my setup a bit and so I thought I would do an updated video. Uh, my apologies for the setting, I know it's a bit different, uh, it's rainy season here in Japan and it's gray and rainy every day for probably over a month and a half. So. Uh, so my apologies in advance for this setup. Hopefully the lighting is okay and you can see it. So now I have, as you can see, two notebooks in here and a couple of inserts. So let me just share. I got rid of the envelope pocket for now. I still have this one, uh, the small envelope pocket that I created. And I just like to keep some sticky notes and some washi tape samples in here. The first notebook that I have is the grid notebook and in the beginning I had it or I was using it as a calendar, as a monthly calendar, but now that I'm using my monthly calendar in this uh, traveler's notebook I no longer need it for that purpose. But I still carry it with me. My husband and I, we kind of do notebook swapping, I don't know what it's called in English, but I because I need to practice my Japanese, I write, you know, some journal entries. Uh, I try, anyways, to write journal entries on a daily basis, and he would correct my Japanese, and vice versa with him. He writes in English, and we just swap every day. So I'm really enjoying this grid paper for that reason, because, uh, you know, I can write the characters, and um, yeah, so I'm using it for that. My second one, my second notebook is the lightweight paper. Sorry, I forgot to mention the grid paper is the refill in 002. I like to keep my stickers, the refill uh, stickers, so I know what to order next time. This is my second notebook. It is the lightweight paper, and the refill number is 013. I'm really, really enjoying this lightweight paper so far. I've just decorated it with some pen and washi tape and a sticker that I purchased and I will do a, fl a flip through like a journal flip through later on but I just I can't get enough of this paper I know it's like really thin but it's just so smooth and easy to write and it really gets me it just kind of pulls me into writing I don't know what it is but I really really love this uh, notebook the lightweight paper so the last thing I have in here, the last insert that I have in here is a homemade or handmade uh, pocket that somebody rocked to me and I was just blown away because it's just so, I don't know, it's just so useful. <laughs> so there's this clear pocket here that uh, has an opening and you can put in, you know, whatever you want, stickers, business cards, things that you want to put in your journal at a later time. There's another pocket in here so I keep my some things that I collect, some stickers. I went to Ippudo Ramen, which was amazing. So I took the pamphlet, which I'll document later, I'll journal in later. And I have my list, monthly list. So I have that in there. Then there's another pocket here and here, which I haven't used. I don't want to cause too much bulk, but I just love it. It's just perfect. I forgot to mention I still have my plastic divider that I can easily take in and out because it's connected by washi. I just have some washi tape samples so if I'm on the go and I'm journaling and sometimes I just journal like a half a page then I can put in one of these washi tapes. I can just peel it off and just slide it in the middle and it creates a nice border and adds some color so I still have that in there. And then this folder this flyleaf is the back part of my pocket that I have. So I still have my tabs, my sticky tabs, and my pen loop. I don't have a pen in there right now, uh, but I do keep a pen, a uh, ballpoint pen. And I have the Shitajiki, the hard writing surface. So we get a lot of questions about uh, this Shitajiki, which is the hard writing surface that I use to put behind my page. And this is especially useful for the lightweight paper because you can really see the lines. 
and I will put the link below but there are several options where you can get your own uh, you can print off your own and laminate it and it's it works just as good and it's uh, so I will put uh, those links below. Uh, one is from Ray Blake and the other one is from Juan. Um, anyways, so I'll put the link below if you need uh, more information. So that is my current setup for this summer and it's not too bulky. It's kind of heavy. I mean it's not that bad <laughs> to be honest with you. It's not that bad and I'm really really enjoying this setup so far. I'm thinking of bringing it with me to the hospital when I give birth. Uh, my hospital stay, I think it's going to be four days, so I think it will give me some time to journal. So that's my setup of the regular size Midori Traveler's Notebook. I just love the way the leather still feels. It just feels really, really nice. There's some dents and scratches, but it doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed watching this updated setup of my Midori Traveler's Notebook. If you have any questions, as always, please feel free to email or message. And thank you so much for your support. We'll see you soon. Bye!